We're out here today asking young people what motivates them to exercise and how they feel about fitness content on social media. When I usually just eat, I feel like I need to do exercise because like I don't want to be like too overweight or something. <laughs> it's just the music in the morning, you wake up to a certain tune and so yeah, today's the day to go to the gym. I don't particularly enjoy it, but I know it's something I need to do to stay healthy, so that's my main, probably only motivation, <laughs> really. It's the way I feel after I exercise. It's kind of that high after you either go running or go to a yoga class. The thing that motivates me to exercise is reaching a certain target, and you can only do that by repetitively doing it over a course of time. The satisfaction of achieving like where you want to be is like just exciting, so it kind of bothers me. Like I don't like seeing it because I don't go to the gym or anything like that, but yeah, I'm not subscribed to that kind of stuff. So. And do you see anything like on social media about fitness or health? Uh, of course, all the time we can see, uh, especially on Facebook, TV programs, TV. I see them a lot. Like some of them can be motivating, uh -huh. but then obviously some of them can be like really misleading. A lot of celebrities, they get paid to do these sponsors and about like weight loss gummies or something like that and those I feel like those are really bad because like you should actually just do exercise instead of eating things to do supplements and stuff like that. I think it's good and bad. I think it's good to kind of make people aware of different kind of fitness trends and things you can do because not every workout is for everybody. But I like to follow the ones that give you really good information on either nutrition or types of exercise, not necessarily just you know, whoever's wearing a specific brand. I think sometimes it's motivating, but other times it can like knock you about a little bit. You know, you're always trying to compete against other people and, you know, the people who are out there putting up social media content all the time, they're, you know, they're at the top of their game and most of us are just average people. A little prep pressure on me, on like how, like why I don't get that body shape and this and that, yeah. yeah I mean, I like the, like the before and after photos and stuff because I'm like, oh, okay, I can do this. But then, yeah, no, most of them you're like, that's yeah, fake. Like, I mean, <laughs> You can see it's like it's like okay that guy takes steroids or she's had heaps of work done. When you see that fitness content on social media, how do you feel? It makes me want to exercise. Yeah? What sort of content makes you want to exercise? When you see a buff dude on the internet, you're like, fuck, why can't I be like that? But you know, it doesn't it doesn't all happen that way.